lose weight on two toilet paper rolls. Nope. Bill's weight on four toilet paper rolls. Nope. Bill's weight on six toilet paper rolls. Nope. Bill's weight on 10 toilet paper rolls. Oh. Ha! Ha ha! Phil's weight can be supported by 10 toilet paper rolls. But what if Phil jumps? <laughs> Didn't really work. So, Kyle and Michaela's plan is to use a long pole and sheets of uncooked pasta. We roll the pasta around the pole and spray it with a little varnish. We roll sheets and sheets of pasta along an eight foot long pole, making many layers of pasta. Then we wait for it to dry and remove the pole. What we have is an eight foot long hollow tube of pasta that becomes a single piece of the bridge. Then we attach a bunch of these pieces together and use more sheets of pasta to glue them into the shape we used for our small pasta bridge. We're making our giant pasta bridge by wrapping sheets of pasta around and around the poles using the technique we just had, <sighs> making a whole large pole out of many, many, many sheets of pasta rolled around each other. And we've made a giant truss. Look at this, this is great, guys. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, if I hit it, you think it'd stay together? No, ah! stop. What? This is pasta, not steel. It's only made to just hold you. Kyle, what do you think are the chances that this is gonna hold me when we build it? Something like 50-50? Not bad. Michaela, what do you think? I'm gonna hold for the best. Hoping for the best. That's exactly the kind of gray area we like to work in at Science Max Experiments at Large. Experiments at Large, I don't know if anybody's even ever done this before. Not to my knowledge. Which is, I don't think so. Which is why we have no idea if it's going to work. Okay, so uh, one more of these, because these are the sides. Yep. Uh, roadway, and then the top. Yep. Yep. All right, let's do it. While we're waiting, it's a good moment to point out one of the things that makes our bridge really strong. That is triangles. As you can see, the truss, or the side of our bridge, is really just three big triangles. Triangles are very strong shapes to build with, and they work great in bridges. Now it's time for science so simple, a caveman could do it. This is a caveman. Huh? Today we are going to teach this caveman how to build a strong structure. Ah! <laughs> Here are some boxes. Huh? Huh? Go on and build a shelter, and I'll come back and see how it worked out. <laughs> no, 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 that's not right. You need to build walls by stacking boxes on top of each other. That's how you build. Understand? Oh, yeah. I'll come back later and see how it worked out. Mm -mm, yeah. Oh, does that look right to you? Yeah. Look at those boxes. They're stacked on top of each other. Yeah. But if they are in tall stacks, what would happen if you push on the wall? Oh. You see? Walls don't stay up if you build like that. Let's try again. I'll help you this time. Huh. First, lay out the foundation, where your wall should go. Good! Now let's make the second level. No, no, don't put it right on top. You need to stack in between. That's how you make a strong wall. Okay, I'll come back later. Yeah, yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Why don't you give it a try? 
Ah. Ah. Looks strong, but you forgot a box. Ah. Huh? Join us next time when we talk about how to make a door. Huh? Building a door in a wall is hard because how do you make a big gaping hole in your wall without your wall falling over? Well, people have come up with lots of ways to put doors and windows in walls made of stone blocks over the centuries. And you can do this at home with books like I'm doing or with building blocks. Just go up until you're happy with the height and then stack each next layer a little closer to the middle until the final layer touches just like this. And then you take a big heavy book and you drop it right on top. And it's pretty stable and you've just made a doorway. It works even better if it's part of a wall because you want extra weight on the outside of these books here. So of course, I had to build one that was part of a whole wall. This is the same corbelled arch built out of little building blocks. And as you can see, I went closer and closer together until it meets at the top and it is very strong. Whoa. Ha-ha! Now, let's max it out. The kind of arch we're building is a corbelled arch. And the Science Max build team and I are using pieces of wood cut to different lengths. How high can it go? We can use my head to, no, okay, wait, wait. It takes a while to get together, but once it's done, it looks just like the kinds of doorways stone buildings had in ancient times. Ta-da, there you go, a maxed out corbelled arch. We went straight up until we got to these layers and they got a little bit closer and closer to the middle until the last piece is one big solid piece. And if we built this right, it should be strong enough to hold me up. Yeah! <laughs> Science! Woo <laughs> well, it, it held me up for a minute, didn't it? We rolled our pasta and constructed one truss. Now we've made a lot more rolls of pasta and connected them all together to make a second truss and a roadway, as well as the cross braces on top. And when we get it all together, we end up with Whoa, pasta bridge! Pasta bridge! <laughs> we did it! We built it. We have no idea how long it will stay up. But it's up. It's doing its bridge thing for now, anyway. I am very excited because, as far as we know, I'm the only one to try to cross a bridge made out of pasta. What do you guys think? I think I don't want you to be the last person to cross a pasta bridge. You're absolutely right. But I, I'm going to do it. I think, I think we're ready. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Here we go. Ah! Oh no, that doesn't bode well for our pasta bridge. What, what happened here, Kyle? You put all your weight in the middle of the joist. It snapped. Uh-huh. If only there was a way to distribute your weight. Maybe if you crawled? Do like the military style kind of? Oh, right, so that I'm putting my weight on more than one spot. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. You guys stay right there. I have. I, I, I know okay. what to do. I know okay. what to do. I know what to do. You're coming back, right? Skis distribute your weight over a large area so you don't sink in the snow. That's what skis do, which is perfect for the pasta bridge. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay. Here Come we go. on. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Is it working? Yeah. It's working. I hear some cracking. This might oh, do it. No. Uh-huh. Try to, try to spread your legs apart. Spreading Distribute my legs weight. apart. Distribute your weight. Distributing my weight. It's swaying a lot. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the cross the bridge. Woo, high fives. There you go. Science Max, experiments at large, pasta bridge, skis, what more could you want? Maybe a pasta chairlift of some sort. Oh, no. hey. oh. Science! Wear it. It is the fashion accessory of the year. I want to travel down it. Should have made it bigger. Science! 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 How long do I hold this piece for? A long time. Guys? Guys, 
This is funny anymore, guys. <laughs>